Hello. I'm just out here. I figured I could show you an update since I haven't really put anything out. I got all the shelves done. Steam engine chest is on the steam engine. I had to make a transfer punch out of some mild steel then uh, car carburize it. And then harden it. But this is all cleaned up. I got a new workbench. And my cart underneath is a bunch of six inch PVC pipes. It had been sitting out in the weather for a few years. That's why it looks like something flowed in it. Because it was just mud. But I got the workbench all done up here. I got some oil light bushings for that. Both ends there, which will be fine because it's only rotary motion, not linear. Linear is what kills those things. I got the gears back finally, as you can see. I've got this. And here's the tool ground to machine that out. I just got to put it, clamp this down to the table with T-nuts. This goes through to the T-nuts on the table and clamps everything down. And then I gotta find another clamp to clamp it here, then I'll take and do that up there. I you see the two pins sticking out. When I take the pin or the gear there and move it from one tooth to the next, it'll relocate and indicate or re-index the top one in also. So that's done. Um, yeah, it's just a bunch of little things here and a mess over here. I gotta get all this cleaned up. Um, yeah, this little cart here, it has a countertop. Here, I'll get down. I've got a countertop on the top of it, and there's caster wheels on the bottom, so I can just pull it out and roll it around wherever I need it. But I have all my round stock, the sprues, one inch steel, just all my round stock, and I can wheel it around to wherever I need it to be. So, I can pretty handy. Um, yeah, I got all those motors fixed. Think about putting the reversing drum switch on the drill press. That way I can, I usually use this for tapping holes and stuff, so just flip it in reverse and it'll spin the tap right out and clear itself, so. Half tempted to do that. The motor is capable of it because I reversed it before. Because it was going in the wrong direction when I first got it. Yeah, I got the bookshelves all put up. They look kind of old and tattered. So one for the motor. Um, there's that one with all the oil cans and everything. Okay. I know it's not much, but yeah. See what we can get ourselves into trouble with. Yeah, I got the pulley back from the guy for brazing it up because I cracked it when I first was messing with it. So he brazed that up also. That's why I was on hold with the so, and the bearings are pretty bad. So I may have to bore those out, or I'll probably bore them out on the lathe and then press a bronze bushing in. And yeah, I'm working on pattern. Missing an A, so I gotta go 
grab another one back out of the box. And the mess over in the corner. Most, pretty much all that's copper uh, in the bucket. I'm just playing with the idea of this thing here. It looks nasty right now, but once I get it all done up and stained, it'll be fine. Then I can just come in, put the flashlight right there, and it won't go anywhere. I don't have to worry about losing it anymore. Okay, I think I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. Sorry again for not putting out much lately. Just weather and waiting on stuff for the lathe. I'll get around to the gears whenever the weather's not so damp and nasty that it's going to rust everything as I'm trying to cut it. Okay. Thanks for watching. See ya.